こんばんは、みなさん。今日です。Loves fried chicken. <laughs> Black people love fried chicken and watermelon. This, of course, is a famous stereotype. I will say this is very true. Many Black people do like fried chicken. I'm not sure where the watermelon one came from. I don't know the origins of that, but it is true. Many people do love fried chicken, but fried chicken is universally loved by everybody. White people, Spanish people, karage is very popular in Japan. Me personally, I'm not a biggest fan of fried chicken. I, I do love Chick fil A, which is a popular fast food restaurant in America. And I will eat their fried chicken. However, it's not something I would cook myself. But I'm not too sure the origins of that stereotype, but it is true. Many black people do like fried chicken and watermelon. Violent and loud. I do believe this is also true.、Um, I do believe、uh, many black men can be very aggressive, but that's also because I believe we are a culture that lives off emotion. I believe, generally speaking, many blacks are,、um, they think more with their, their hearts than their brains. And I think that、uh, that is a shortcoming. I think that's also a result of a generation of black people being raised by single moms.、Um, this is no diss to women, but women tend to be more emotional than men. So, of course, if you're raised in houses with、um, only women as leader, in leadership roles, women tend to be more unstable emotionally. They have ups and lows, and you don't really have that example. Of a stable man who knows how to properly solve a problem. And、um, I think that's also very much a shortcoming. That's, I think that's also why we're so creative. I think more emotional people tend to be also more creative in a way because we feel a lot more. And I think that that also can, also can be a shortcoming because when people are wild up in their emotion, they tend to be more violent and more loud. And it's true that many blacks also tend to be loud. If you go to certain black areas or certain demographics, you hear a lot of. Uh, black people driving with loud music, playing loud music. It's, it's a very common theme. And I think that's also because、uh, we lack discipline as a culture, but that's also because fathers not being there. You see how everything relates to the home? If the home is messed up, everything else is also going to be messed up. BLM and sensitive about racism,、uh, victim mindset. Yes, I think black Americans are extremely sensitive to race in a horrible way, but also that's because a lot of our politicians and governments and media. They make money and bank off of the emotions of black people. That's how a lot of democratic politicians、uh, get back in office by telling black people that the world hates them, that every race of people hates them, Asians, whites, white supremacy, and all that stuff. So、um, I believe that to be true. And also, many blacks are taught to think like victims that the world is against you, everything is not your fault, and it's the white man's fault, it's the Asian man's fault, and, and we never take accountability for our, our own actions. Um, and sadly, majority of black people do agree with BLM. So, someone like me who doesn't agree with that movement is very much a black sheep.、Um, but I, I see the truth to that movement and what it's doing. And I don't think it's bringing unity. I think it's also bringing a lot of division. Because even a lot of Japanese on this channel have said they started hating black people. But it's not until they watch my channel、um, that they kind of recognize not all black people think the same. And I wish that more black people would be open minded to other ideas and thinking like a group collective. And believing that your identity is based, being black is not just based on what you think. You know, I think too much we put our identity in our skin color instead of being a person of character and moral righteousness.、Um, but yeah, I do agree with that stereotype. Black people look down on Asians and they hate Asian people. Sadly, I have to say this is very much rooted in truth. Majority of the Asian hate crime that happens in America is actually done by blacks towards Asians.、Um, This is not something that's mentioned at all, but it does happen frequently, especially in, in poverty stricken areas.、Um, I have a neighbor named Aiden, and his family came from China. And he would tell me a lot of times that when he was in you know, the ghetto or a poor part of town that had majority black people, that he often got bullied and made fun of. You know, And、um, there's a lot of stories of、uh, blacks committing、uh, physical crimes against Asians. And I think the problem with the media is not telling is that they. They, they, they kind of mask it as that it's white people mainly attacking Asians, but it's really black people. And a lot of blacks believe that lie that black people can't be racist, but definitely we are very much racist. A lot of us are racist. We, a lot of us hate white people, and a lot of us do not like Asians. Even before the Asian hate, a lot of blacks were actually saying that Asians were also part of the problem of white supremacy、um, because anything that It gives off a, a, a form of excellence is seen as something bad or something white.
Um, so sadly, I will say there's a lot of blacks that do not like Asians. Um, and I also think that's also a reason why many Asians tend to avoid black people, sadly. Um, I think Asians already, in, a, in America at least, are very hard to connect with because they're very closed off people in my personal experience. And then when you also hear that many things done against their people by black people, it kind of makes you closed off. So sadly, a lot of that stereotype is rooted in truth. Blacks are emotional people, not very logical. Yeah, I've said this before, blacks are very much emotional and sadly we focus more on emotionalism instead of facts, logic, statistics, stuff like that, which I believe it's holding us back. But I think once men are back in charge of the community, because men tend to be more stoic and more logical in their thinking and they know when to, okay, it's time to be not emotional and to just get straight to the point and rely on facts and not how we feel. Um, but yeah, that is true. Blacks like to party and have the YOLO mindset, which means you only live once. So basically it's like a phrase for like, do whatever you want because you only have one life. And that tends to be reckless behavior. Uh, I agree with that. I think because of our culture, blacks are very short minded, meaning that we don't really think about the long term. For example, a lot of us spend our money on, on, on clothes, expensive jewelry, stuff that we don't need instead of buying, you know, property instead of investing our money, instead of saving it up, starting businesses, we, 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 black people are the most consuming group in America, meaning that we buy the most things. Our money disappears. Black people tend to get paid on Friday night and everything's gone by Saturday morning because we spend money a lot. And we do have a reckless behavior of like not thinking about the long term. That's why a lot of our women are pregnant out of wedlock. You know, a lot of our men are in jail because they want that fast money instead of doing the right way, working hard and steadily, you know what I'm saying, being patient and building your wealth over, over time. I do we, I do believe we do have a culture of recklessness. And I think that's why, you know, blacks are not progressing as we should, is because our priorities are messed up. And I'm praying that soon that blacks realize that we're the prop, we're their answer to our own problems and that we change our behaviors. But it is true, a lot of blacks like to party. We're known for partying. And though it's good to have fun, when it's excessive and all you do is party and you're not really thinking of the future, it can be a huge problem. And last, that a lot of black people smoke weed. Sadly, yes, a lot of us do smoke weed. I mean, I've never smoked weed before, um, but my father had smoked, uh, was a big weed smoker. And many people in our culture smoke weed. Actually, it's so bad that a lot of people, they kind of look at me weird when I say I don't smoke weed because I've talked about this before, but I don't want to be controlled by a substance. Um, and sadly, I think black culture is also a forerunner for marijuana culture or cannabis culture. A lot of rappers smoke weed, a lot of entertainers smoke weed, and you can have your own thoughts on weed, but um, it is true that many of us do, many black people do smoke weed. I think it's a poor ethnic image. And again, ultimately, um, I think that also adds to our poor ethnic image as weed is, even though culturally on the media it's accepted, practically in everyday life, weed is still very much looked down on in our culture. Um, so I do think that's one thing that's also holding us back, the amount of black people that do smoke weed. So that was a list of a lot of stereotypes that you guys mentioned. It, it was a very long list, um, but I hope I, I brought some clarity to some of the stereotypes. Some I believe, most I believe are true, and others are, I'm not too sure their origins or whatever, but a lot of you guys are very perceptive and it's surprising to me how you guys live in a different culture, a completely different country, but yet you notice these things. That to me tells, the world, or that tells me that other races do really pay attention to other groups of people. That's why I think I've always said that blacks need to properly need to properly uh, properly <laughs> represent themselves, so they have a better, they give off a better image. As I when I went to Japan, you know, I tried to my best to adapt to the culture and to assimilate. And I think because of that, there's many Japanese who loved me and and, and really invited me into their own circle. So um, I'm thankful that I can be a person to help, I guess, bridge the gap and bring more understanding to black culture. And if you guys have any more questions, concerns, comments, please leave them in the comment section below. Again, I'm open to talk about anything and I want you guys to feel safe. I don't want you guys to feel like you have to walk on eggshells to mention anything. Trust me, you're safe. Anything you gotta mention, whether it's controversial or heavy topic, just let me know and I'll talk about it. So if you guys like the video, please smash the like button, smash the subscribe button. Also hit that bell as well to get notified whenever we post a video. Arigato gozaimasu. Minna. Kiyotsukete. Jane.